Welcome back fellas to this new video tax press. I'm going to be showing you a very easy way how to create an actual Outlook account for those of you guys who doesn't understand a little bit how to use your internet or different applications. You don't have to worry about that. I'm going to be showing you this process step by step. So the first thing to do is to open your web browser. You might find that button right below here, for example, Google Chrome. I'm going to click into it and automatically it's going to be popping up this element of the Google, Bing or uh, whatever application or whatever server you're using to, uh, let's say, use your internet. So once you are in the, I'm going to type the word Outlook. I clicked into it and you can see there's going to be displaying lots of uh, websites. So before you clicked into one of them, you wanted to make sure that this one says Outlook.life.com. This is what we are aiming for. Really important to try to aim for the and not try to look out for other um, sources because it might be a little bit spam and you might lose your content and well, I am not going to be saying a lot of things that. So once you are inside the, as you can see, my account is now being signed in. So what I'm going to be doing here to make this process much more faster for all of you guys is that I'm going to click into my account. I'm going to sign out and you might be seeing something um like these inside the iCloud right so let's go for Outlook once again create your Microsoft account once we are here once we clicked in the it's going to be telling you to create your Microsoft account so as you can see we are now into the sign up dot live dot com and as you can see, we have this batch that says no security threat found. So that means that we are into a really trusted application uh, site. So we can choose to generate an Outlook account or a Hotmail account. Let's try out with an Outlook.com. Then I'm going to go for my new email and I'm going to type what I'm going to be aiming for like this. Then I'm going to hit into the option that says next. Then it might be asking me to create an actual passcode. So choose an actual passcode that, that you remember, that is easily to remember. And if you have more than one account, what I do, for example, is to make sure that I use the same passcodes. When you hit into next, it's going to be asking you some details about your country, region, birth date to help apply the age proper settings to the Microsoft account. So choose uh, all your personal information and go for next. Lastly, ask your first, your last name, and hit for continue. Now, it's going to be really important that you scratched out this one that says, I would like information tips and offer about Microsoft products and services because it's really annoying when you have this enabled because you don't want it to get spammed, right? So I wanted to disable this for now and hit for next. Once all this information has now been correctly done, it says, let's prove you are a human. This process might be a little bit different for almost everybody, but this is something going to be really, really easily. For example, it says, just press and hold the button. In my case, I just needed to just use my mouse, press and hold right there until it tells me to on press it. And it says now loading. So it might be asking you to select in a specific amount of images to press as I just did them or to drag and drop into some kind of an item, whatever. So once you finish with this specific process, your uh, Outlook account will be created in no time. So um, just wait a few seconds here. Let's see what's going to be happening after that. Usually it might be taking up to one minute at a time and it might be giving you something like this. Now, I'm going to be giving you just a last important uh, tip, for example, is that you need to verify your account. This is usually a simple possibly series of images, but in my case, we have done this already uh, automatically. So as you can see, here is my inbox. So you can see that we have received my first email from Outlook team. It says welcome, whatever. And we have another from Plata Card. You can see right in here, we have an AD batch. This is an ad. So that means that we have an actual ad out of it. So what you can do is just to delete this one so you no longer see it. So as you can see now, my inbox is now created. 
And there you go, a really easy tutorial how you can generate your Outlook account. So guys, you have now access to the Microsoft 365, the OneDrive, Clipchamp, Designer, and all of these tools and much more. So hopefully this was a very useful information for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And hopefully guys, we can all see you next time.